So hi guys, welcome to part two of the solution to American politics. And I'm basically just trying to talk about why Elizabeth Warren's uh, wealth tax plan doesn't make sense. So let's start by addressing the issue. First of all, there's this lie that the left tells that uh, billionaires are dodging taxes or or they make all this money and they, they don't pay any tax. The thing you need to understand is income, right? Income versus shares. So the thing is the way most billionaires make money is not through an income. It's through their net worth rising based on the shares that they own, right? So the reason they're not paying taxes is because they aren't getting any cash. And you might be like, oh, but the thing is they have all these shares. But that's the thing. There's what's known as capital gains tax. So once you sell those shares for money, you have to pay tax on them. So they are paying their taxes, right? And there are all these statistics like, oh, you know, uh, something like Warren Buffett, uh, his secretary paid more tax than him, or these guys pay like 1% tax, you know, the true tax rate, that's what they call it. But the thing is, the only reason... The only reason uh, it happens is because, okay, what they're saying is, let's say someone makes 30 million, but their net worth goes up by, I don't know, 1 billion, and they only quote unquote pay tax on the 30 million. They're like, oh yeah, you know, his effective tax rate is like, you know, 1% or something like that. But his true tax rate, you know, like, like his true, like, I think they'll say the effective tax rate is like the regular tax rate they'll say it's like 30 percent but then they'll say like oh you know the true tax rate is like one percent or something like that but that's really because um there's no such thing as tax on wealth on shares and the thing is it's unconstitutional to have a wealth tax because that would mean you and I as citizens if we lived in the U.S. we would also have to pay tax on shares or on our net worth so imagine let's say you own land uh, you own land worth a million and you're told to pay tax on the wealth that you own my question is okay how exactly are you going to pay the tax on land that's one million how are you going to pay the tax if literally it's just land that's not producing any income right it means you'll have to sell that land to pay the tax and it's the same with the wealth tax if you're going to say oh if your wealth is over one billion we're going to have to tax you a certain amount the question is if it's in shares how will i pay that tax it means i have to sell some of my shares to pay that tax and you might think it makes a lot of sense but then the question is um, if I am in a company and I only have like a 12% stake in the company if I keep on selling my shares I will lose more and more control of my company won't I so eventually I won't be able to control the company so I might have some wealth, but they might decide to kick me out of as CEO. So I think that's one of the ethical issues when it comes to the wealth tax is that people do need that stake, the stocks that they have in order to have control of their company. And the next reason why I think the wealth tax won't work is because markets have to stay competitive. Literally, if you're just going to say, oh, we're going to start a wealth tax and another country is like, we don't have a wealth tax, then which country do you think the billionaires are going to go to? 
haven't you seen that's why monaco has such an extremely high population of billionaires it's because it's a tax haven right so if you make it more difficult to make money in america then more entrepreneurs are going to leave america and they'll, they'll go to the uk they'll go to australia they'll go to singapore they'll go to hong kong right so i think the wealth tax is not really feasible for the most part and if they did do it you will see certain entrepreneurs leaving the us i mean there's an entrepreneur i can't i just can't remember his name but i think he went to hong kong just because his company was easier to start there than in the us due to i think certain tax regulations so it's a real thing